Today, welcome to another exciting episode of the Cisco Networking. My name is Bruce Malauzi and I'd like to welcome you on behalf of Sonnet Institute of Technology. Today we'll talk about Cisco Unicast Reverse Path. Cisco Unicast Reverse Path Forwarding, in short, URPF. It's a, it's a Cisco feature that is found on Cisco routers that verifies the source IP address of a packet. For Unicast Reverse Path Forwarding to work, Cisco Express, in short CEF, must be enabled on the Cisco router. When configured, Unicast, Unicast Reverse Path Forwarding can block spoofed IP addresses or packets that have spoofed IP address by comparing them on the FIB database. In this demonstration, I will use GNS3. On our topology, I have four Linux boxes. One of them is an Ubuntu uh, acting as a attacking machine. And then I have three more Ubuntu servers in a corporate line environment. So before you do this demonstration, please make sure that the attacking machine has HP3 installed. That is the tool that we use to uh, spoof our IP addresses. While on the Ubuntu servers inside the LAN, please make sure you have TCP dump installed. However, you can use Wireshark. Okay, so the attacking machine will attempt to send spoofed uh, packets or spoofed IP packets to a target machine. And then our goal is to try to mitigate this kind of uh, attack. This is our topology, as you can see. On my left hand side, on the purple zone, I have the attacker uh, using a Linux machine. So this attacker will actually try to send packets from uh, the remote LAN, which is 192.168.1.0. Those packets will be sent over to the internet and try to reach uh, the target LAN which is inside the corporate environment. So the corporate environment has got an IP of 172.16.1.0. So without wasting time, let's get to the live uh, interface and try to configure. Okay, on the live interface on GNS3, I will connect to the hacker machine and Cisco router number two. I'll also connect to PC one and PC two. Okay, so this is what I have, and then I will try to split this. All right, so now I have hacker. PC2 and PC1 over here. So I will do a normal uh, ping from hacker to PC1. So that is from this machine to PC1. So the command will be a normal ping. So the IP address of PC1 is 172. Dot one six dot one dot ten, and then I get the response. So on PC one, I will use TCP dump, and the protocol is ICMP. Okay, from here we can see that we got the ICP ICMP request coming from one nine two dot one six eight dot one two fifty four. So everything is working as normal. So what I will try to do now is to try to spoof my source IP. Okay, right now I need to send uh, spoofed packets that will be using a spoofed source IP address. So on PC1, that is my target machine, I will start TCP dump. And I select my protocol that will be ICMP. All right, so I'm capturing all ICMP packets. On the attacking machine, I will send a ping request using a spoofed IP address. So I'll impersonate 
this was IP address of PC2. So the command will be hpin3, uh, sorry, it's gonna be hpin3-a, and then I enter the IP address of PC number two. So that would be 172.16.1.20, and followed by the IP address of the destination or the target machine, that would be 172.16.1.10. And then I specify my protocol that is this, dash dash ICMP. So from the terminal here, let me stop this. Okay, as you can see from here, we can see that I've got uh, IP ICMP request. The source IP is 172.16.1.20. And the destination is right there. But remember that our attacking machine has got an IP address from the 192 environment, 192.168.1.254. So this is how you can spoof your IP address using HP. Thing. All right. So the next thing we need to do is how are we going to mitigate this kind of... From our live topology, we need to enable Cisco Unicast reverse path forwarding on router number two. So this can be done on interface serial 2 slash 0. So I'll go quickly go into that interface. So there's my router number 2. So I will go into global configuration mode. And then I'll enable Cisco Express forwarding. And then I'll quickly go into serial uh, interface serial slash serial 2 slash 0. And then I'll simply enter the command uh, IP verify unicast reverse path just like that I'll press enter so going back to my attacking machine uh, let me refresh this okay so I will use TCP dump again on my target machine and going back to my attacking machine I'll try to send spoof packets again as you can see there's nothing here so this is how cisco uh, unica service path forwarding prevents uh, spoofing of ip addresses so from here can i ping the target machine without spoofing my source ip address surely yes i can so what i need to do i'll just do a normal ping and that will be 172.168.16.1.10 okay surely it's working so a normal ping will work but if i try to spoof it won't work the other thing is you have been wondering when i used um when i, I used the when i spoofed the source ip addresses we did not get uh ping replies it's because those replies when they came back, they were not coming back to the uh, attacking machine, but they were sent to PC number two. So let me quickly do this. I'll go back to router number two and disable Cisco Unicus path, reverse path forwarding and go back to the attacking machine and do the trick again. So. If I go to PC number two and see what is happening, so I will say TCP dump and the protocol is ICMP. You can see that on this machine, let me quickly stop that. You can see that on this machine, it's getting a, a, a ping request from PC one, of which uh, PC one never like request. So the attacker is spoofed the IP address. So this is how Cisco Unicast path, reverse path forwarding works uh, without using a uh, dedicated firewall or special access control list. I hope this has been informative and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much.